to our correspondent standing by uh, there, Benedict Pavio. Uh, Benedict, so it's not the queen who's taking the salute. Can you explain that? Yes, so this is a 96-year-old monarch whose life has been dedicated to service. It has been a life of service, of constancy, of unifying the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. And because of her age, because of her, what are, the palace is calling episodic mobility problems, it is, in fact, the heir to the throne, her son, Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, his son, the Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, and Prince Charles's sister, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal. And they are riding at the parade as colonels, respectively, of the Welsh Guards, the Irish Guards, and the Blues and Royals. Uh, so this is very special. What we are witnessing, in fact, we are witnessing history. We are witnessing this 96-year-old monarch who has been at every single Trooping the Colour, let's remember, that is celebrating her official birthday. And now we have the transition. And the transition is that Prince Charles has been increasingly taking over duties of the Queen. She is delegating more and more. For example, a few weeks ago, we had the opening of Parliament uh, that was done by Prince Charles. Um, and this is where he is getting increased duties. And as the public, the British public and the world gets used to seeing uh, senior royals like Prince Charles, the next king of the United Kingdom, uh, this is a special historic transition that we're witnessing. And Benedict, the Queen uh, has seen 14 different British prime ministers, been a real symbol of, of stability through it all. Uh, can you tell us more about that, some of uh, the, all of the different prime ministers that she's seen? I can. Not only can I tell you that in words, I can tell you that with a picture. Let me welcome Kayama, an artist. Please hold up your... Can you please hold up... To, and you can see here, in what I think is actually an outstanding painting, uh, a slightly weary queen with a lot of experience. She is the 70-year reign, and she has these regular private meetings with prime ministers behind closed doors. And the absolute crime of les majesty is to ever reveal your exchanges with the monarch. A few have fallen foul of that rule, but here you have, at the beginning, of course, Churchill, and then as you go down the list, Macmillan, Harold Wilson, <coughs> Margaret Thatcher, that many of our viewers will know, John Major, Tony Blair, um, Gordon Brown, Edward Heath, Mr. Callaghan, Theresa May, of course, David Cameron, and if we really zoom in for a moment, who is this? This is Boris Johnson. And Kaya was telling me with bottles, because of course we have Partygate, um, and we have Boris Johnson with his well-known blonde um, hair, um, somewhat dishevelled. And we have, well, you tell me, Kaya, what is on Boris Johnson's nose uh, yeah, and uh, why? The clown, he's got the red, the clown's... Uh, uh, you were telling me before that you actually feel sorry for the, for the do, Queen. So, I do sorry for the Queen. In her 70 years, he got through the 14 prime ministers. First prime minister was Churchill, same time uh, as a father figure for young uh, Queen. And at the age of 96, she ended up with a clown. And that's to tell you the state of uh, this country, from empire to little England, from Churchill to a clown. So there are some prime ministers we know from history yes. that uh, the Queen has actually really, we, we could see the warmth. And that was true, for example, with Churchill, um, her first prime minister. And it was also very true, we know, of Harold Wilson. Can you just hold up the painting for just one moment again, Kaya? Viewers will notice there is a bit of a space here. And Kaya was telling me the reason that there is a space here on the painting is because he actually very much hopes that I this hope 96, you, you hope and pray. Yeah, I hope and pray that uh, I will fill those two space because she's only hope for this country. There's no one else to look up, uh, look it up.
So there we are. We have um, a very visual painting of that history of this uh, 96-year-old monarch who's known these 14 prime ministers. We know that Boris Johnson could face uh, a vote of confidence as soon as next week. So could this space be filled fairly soon by a man or a woman as head of government? That is a distinct possibility. I look forward to that. You look forward to that? Ah, uh, yes. OK. Well, some people will and some people won't. Reporting live from an absolutely packed St. James's Park near Horse Guards Parade with, I have to say, smiles and cheers and such a bon enfant, to use a French expression. It is a wonderful scene to behold. Benedict Pavio, thank you so much. And thank you to your guest for that perfect depiction of all that the Queen has seen.